My name is Lori Hernandez. I'm 16 years old. And I'm best known for being an Olympic gymnast. I won a gold and a silver at the Olympics. <gasps> Hi! Oh Hi. my god! How are you? I'm good, how are you? This is so cool. I was so excited to see Val. I am just ecstatic to be his partner because he's such a great dancer. So we're gonna like win this thing, right? I, I love your ambition, yes. Oh my god. Definitely. My initial thought was wow. That is Lori from the Olympics. I'm, I'm a huge fan. I, I just watched her compete. She's she's spicy, man. It's cool. You got it so fast. Girl, I've danced before a couple <laughs> of times. It's two people dancing together. So we need to be so in sync. Yeah. Having been entrusted with such incredible talent like Lori, I feel a lot of pressure. Pressure? Why? Because I have an American treasure in my hands. I want to go out there and I want to have fun and enjoy myself. I also want to win the mirror ball. So. <laughs> You're amazing. Yay! <laughs> I've had two dreams since I was a little kid. One of them was to go to the Olympics. The second dream was to be on Dancing with the Stars. And when we were getting ready to go out on stage, there was the whole Ryan Lochte situation. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Get out of here. I felt like it took away from Lori's moment, a moment that she dreamed of all these years. But Lori held herself together and she still had an incredible performance. I have to say, to be able to come out and do what you did, I think was wonderful. This week is TV theme night and we are doing DuckTales. Have you ever heard the DuckTales theme song before? What's DuckTales? <laughs> There's nobody better to play a cartoon character than Lori. Her eyes are just so huge. She has all these emotions squeezing out of her face and she can't barely hold them in. My happiness goes to my cheeks, so I have to grab it. To make sure it like, doesn't fall out or something. The most important thing? Have fun. Good. Oh, yeah. Look at me. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Let's go. We ready. I'm so proud, and it was so so crazy, so hectic, like what happened right before you danced. Yeah. I thought that was really unfair to you, to Ryan, to everybody. It just sucks because like he came here to get away from everything, and then people just carried it with him here, so. She does it all, she does it all. Manages the stage. We got the tango. Tango is a very intense dance. It's a lot more dramatic, a lot more passionate. It sounds like a whole another level of woman that I don't know about. <laughs> they put us up against Lori and Val. All right. Do this. We'll have fun. Going against Lori, in, who's in first place, you always feel like, well, what can I bring that might be a little different than the person that has the same part? I bring experience. I'm four times her age. You know, things like that. <laughs> Something beautiful, lingerie type, let's feel lots of stones. Lingerie. Okay. That's French for trouble. <laughs> Mary Lou, because she has much more experience than I do, just in life in general, she'll be able to show off those emotions when she's dancing. Put this hand on my face. Six, seven. <laughs> it's not like a, 
I've ever had like a boyfriend or anything. I mean, I sleep I sleep with like a teddy bear at night. Boom, boom. Amazing. What I want to try to bring with Mary Lou is a sense of as a maturity. We can actually be competitive, I think, with this tango. That's phenomenal. <laughs> okay, good. Pressure's on. Stay out of the bottom six. Mary Lou, this is your week. I know I can get so much better and I can make Derek proud. And... I need to hear you heal. I need you to be like intense and in it. I want to get that immunity. At the same time, I want to show the judges that I can tango just as well as someone who's older than me. It's about the relationship between two people because it takes two to... No, it doesn't take two to make the thing go right. What does it take two to? It takes two to tango. Right. So let's tango together. Otherwise, you're going to be cute glory for the rest of the season. Facebook challenge, we're up against Mary Lou and Derek doing the tango. Lori is known for her fun, loving, joy, excitement. Put this hand on my face. Seven. <laughs> and none of those things have anything to do with the tango. Oh. Something beautiful, lingerie type, with lots of stones. Lingerie. Like that. That's Thanks. French for trouble. <laughs> Mary Lou, because she has much more experience than I do, just in life in general, she'll be able to show off those emotions when she's dancing. You should be, like, intense and in it. I want to show the judges that I can tango just as well as someone who's older than me. It's about the relationship between two people, because it takes two to... No, it doesn't take two to make the thing go right. What does it take two to? It takes two to tango. Right. So let's tango together. Otherwise, you're going to be cute glory for the rest of the season. She had great intensity, their hold was really tight, they were very connected, the body contact was fantastic. However, she had a few little incidences with her chin being a little tight to her chest, and they had a lift. There's no lifts in the tango. Bow, no lifts in the tango. Hi. Yes, where I'm at. Uh... I'm at the Michael Jackson one. I'm in the Cirque du Soleil Theater. We're about to see the number that we're gonna do on the show next Monday. Are you ready? I'm so ready. I love Michael Jackson. Oh my God. Growing up, I always loved listening to his music and I would try to follow his dance moves, so I'm just so excited. This week, <laughs> yo, I'm playing Michael Jackson. I'm playing Michael Jackson. I'm playing Michael Jackson. I can't believe it. I've, you know, I'm very intimidated. The most important thing is that you need to have confidence. There's a lot of pressure to do a good job performing to a Michael Jackson song. Everybody knows these moves. I mean, like, we can't really get away with half fasting it. <laughs> Woo! I might have pulled something, but it felt good. Because of my schedule, we only have three days to train. I am in Washington, D.C., and Val is in Vegas. This, this is going to be an so interesting really week for us. So here's the jazz routine you're going to be doing. I'm so impressed with how hard Lori works. She's been studying on the road. I've been sending her videos. Make sure you really hit the 8 and 01. I mean, she's meeting the president. I never expected her to even look at the videos. And she came in so much better than I expected. And I love you. You watched that video so over and over again. You watched it. For Michael Jackson, there's a very high expectation. That was better. I mean, you don't want to make any mistakes. <laughs> I just have to make sure that I'm hitting all those beats like Michael would. My man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, focus. Come on. We make a mistake. You know, normally it's like a no-no to do Michael Jackson because it's really hard to emulate. Oh! But I was like, Michael Jackson, who?
so good. Michael Jackson may be the king of pop, but you are the queen of the ballroom! <laughs> the first perfect score of this season. <laughs> I used to hang out with Michael, and like we were really, really close. You did him so proud. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. Val and I got perfect scores on our Michael Jackson dance. They called me off guard because we hadn't even gotten nines yet. I want you to enjoy this moment, but I also want you to understand that now you have to be better than, yeah. than perfect. Lori's most memorable year is 2016. This is the year that she finally made it to her dream, Dancing with the Stars. And <laughs> she went to the Olympics. I started gymnastics at around five years old, and there was a lot of sacrifices that I've had to make for the sport. She had a lot of injuries, um, a lot of injuries. In 2014, I dislocated my kneecap, tore a tendon, and that really set me back the whole year. We kind of thought, all right, you know, she's gonna hang this up. But Lori started stretching with the cast on her leg, and she's like, I'm not done. Training was going through all this blood, sweat, and tears, but I went to the Olympics, and it was something that I'll remember forever. This is what happens when you push through the hard times and the pain, the injuries, and the things that you have to bottle up. So you keep turning, keep turning until you have the skirt and then go away. The hardest thing about the pasta doble is making sure that you're very fierce. Boom, there, there, there. Lori's biggest challenge is people are expecting perfection every week. This is not, this is not it at all. At all. And it's the first dance that exposes her emotionally. Go three and a four and a five. I mean, come on. Val pushes pretty hard because he knows what I'm capable of. Soften your knees, stomp into the floor, and use your feet. But I think the worst is when people just assume, like, oh, she's young, she's healthy, she's athletic. And they don't see that I went through a lot of stuff <laughs> before finally making it at the end. You okay? God. <laughs> I've never done a fast double before. <laughs> so when I don't get a step, you need to calm down and take a couple minutes to teach it to me. Don't just get mad and start yelling at me. Lori doesn't have trouble sharing her positive emotions with people, uh, but once it comes to an emotion that isn't just happiness and fun, then she definitely bottles it up inside. We need one another to, to create. But if I get intense, which I do all the time, that doesn't mean that I'm angry at you. You know, you don't need to bottle it up. You could just be like, can you show this to me one more time? I got this, one more time. That's you the know? whole problem, I bottle things up. <laughs> Gymnastics, I would do the same thing, so. But I don't... I, don't... I, would, I have to figure out how to talk. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> was a bit of a rough week. Belle and I had a little bit of conflict. There's no denying that you have so much dynamic and strength, but I really want to see you guys connect more. Nice. It was definitely a humbling experience to go from a perfect score to a 25, which was the second lowest score of the night. You okay? Yeah. Let's watch it back. But maybe that was something that we needed. It's Latin week. You need to prepare yourself. There's going to be a lot of people ripping their shirts off. Don't you usually rip your shirt off? What? No. I'm a second generation Puerto Rican, so I'm hoping my heritage can really come through this week. Come on, guys, wake up. <laughs> Clean, butt out, arch your back, and be Latin. People view Lori's age as an advantage, but this week in particular, it, it, it's actually a huge disadvantage. You have to look more feminine than I. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> There's a lot of hip action in salsa. This is like some Rihanna stuff right here. I just have to be... Not so weird about it. <laughs> Monday nights we have the show. The rest of the week I'm on a gymnastics tour and Sean and Nastia, who were on Dancing with the Stars, they're on tour with me too. Oh my gosh, I remember Celsius when I locked myself in the bathroom and started crying. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, I did that last week. <laughs> I freaked out because he told me I had to like be sexy and whatever and I was like, ah, oh, and I started crying. I really feel for Lori and how she's feeling this week. I was in her shoes, I went through it all. It's weird having to like shake my hips in front of Val because he's like a guy. <laughs> it's a really hard thing transitioning from gymnastics. We're so used to being strict and 
It can be awkward. This is time to like have fun, learn a new thing, and kind of prove to yourself that you can be more than just a gymnast. Okay. You can make mistakes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. We, and we got the 60s, the non-hippie anti-government 60s. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> it's, it's a prom vibe. Like, let's listen to the I song. I've never been to prom. <laughs> Help me out here. <laughs> You're supposed to go to prom during high school. I don't go to high school, I homeschool, so I've never been to prom. I don't know if Len did this in the 60s. Hell yeah, he did this in the 60s. <laughs> He's like, this for Len Goodman. <laughs> okay, he didn't do the dab in the 60s. <laughs> Lori definitely needs to brush up on her knowledge of history. Let's find out what they did in the 60s. <laughs> so, we're really gonna have to do a lot of research. Mary Lou, when I think of yeah. prom, I think of the 60s for some reason. Yeah, 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 this for sure, because kind of... that was like the really golden time. Right. But it was so different. Like, you wouldn't be talking to this guy. <laughs> You know? Wait, so you would have been dead? No, I wouldn't have been dead. You've never been to prom, and I think it's a perfect opportunity to take you to prom. I think it's cool that my first prom is going to be with Val, because instead of just sitting on my phone the whole time, I'll actually be dancing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think this is my new favorite dance. Yeah, she's going to prom with me. What do you mean? Obviously. I'm really excited for this dance, and even though I've never been to a prom, this is kind of what I imagine it to be. Being asked to the prom, it's a very awesome time, whether you're born in the 60s or you grew up in, in 2000s. This is my mom. So close. You know, the butterflies that you feel when that happens, these are magic moments. Beautiful. Every teenager should experience. I'm glad that Lori gets to experience it, at least on Dancing with the Stars. All girls, you got the girls. Four women from completely Very different fierce. walks of life. Yes. Four different heights. Right. Oh, that's for damn sure. Yeah. With all of our talents and our dancing combined, we're going to make a really good team. There you go. Yeah. What if we start like that? The concept of a routine is we start in this sort of oppressed future. It's got an apocalyptic feeling to it. Can we just listen to the song so we yeah. can get a broader picture idea? I mean, all the girls are sitting on the sideline and the guys are choreographing the dance. Not to be like the bearer of bad news, but we have two hours. In, in two and a half hours, this is the only move we've done. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, and five, and six. Yeah? It's okay? Yeah, maybe Tara and I stay because we can't take that big step. I just, I don't know. Because I'm not going to change. One, two, three, four, hit. Don't know if it is. But I want to be as good as that. Sasha's talking in Russian because he doesn't want me to understand what he's saying. Sasha. Da. Mozla? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Even Derek was asking permission constantly. She could go backwards through Lori's legs. Can she? Is it possible? So I just don't want to hold everybody back. That's all. You good? Yeah, you good. First, there's a little difficult for everybody. Yeah, it'll be fine. Hey! hey. This week is crazy. The schedule is bananas. Everybody's kind of all over the place. Um, Lori's traveling. Janet's traveling. So I'll send you the stuff that we're doing on the walkway. We need to make sure we coordinate our efforts. So we talk every day. Oh, he changed it. But in reality, we need to get in a room and actually build it. One, two, three. This is the first time that we've all done it together. Move, move. Stop, stop, stop. you got to get this right. I... You will? When? In the beginning, it was like, holy crap. We need to get there. Faster. Just, just hustle a little. I am really nervous, but honestly, I have the most amazing team ever. You good, Mama? Good. Don't be intimidated. This team dance is extremely important because every point counts. It must be perfect. Team Future! I'm really happy with what Lori and I have done. Hey, hey. But week four, we got all tens, and it's week seven, and we're getting two eights. We're doing so good in the dances, but we're not getting the scores that we should be. I cleared up the whole week, so we can just focus on everything. Really? You came to the tour? This is important. I want to look like a pro when I'm dancing. My whole life is focused around making sure that she shines every Monday. I want this dance to take their breath away. Yes. 
but I mean, I worry. We're losing momentum at a time where we're supposed to be building momentum. It's really good, but it's not good enough. Is my creativity good enough? Is my choreography good enough? Because her dancing is definitely good enough. <laughs> Guess who I am? Willy Wonka. Yes. Oh my God, am I gonna be Charlie? <laughs> yeah. Charlie's enthusiasm to see this world is very similar to Lori's pure joy every time she steps foot on the dance floor. I just almost started crying. Why? <laughs> because it's so... Mm. Because it's very, you know... It's crazy how fast life moves. And Lori, she brings the joy in everything. I just don't want to blow it for her, you know? Don't be upset, eat some spaghetti. I'm not upset, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm really happy. I'm so oh happy my to God. <laughs> For me, by sharing it with her, you know, it, it, it lives on forever. <sighs> I want to be good to you, for you, and make this a great, great experience for you. Okay. Always. Because <laughs> you deserve it. Oh my god. Stop, you're gonna, you have to stop because then you're gonna make me start crying and that's ugly. <laughs> okay. Let's take a minute. <laughs> Last week was absolutely amazing. Finally, huh, we got it perfect. There's no holding back now. James had an incredible night. I thought Calvin did a beautiful job. But I'm not comfortable with that. I don't want you to be left behind. This week we have Showstoppers Night. We're doing Cell Block Tango from Chicago. Your energy should be sexy. I'm gonna use that word. I'm sorry, we are there now. <laughs> should we ask my mom first? <laughs> huh? No. <laughs> I'm really excited that I get to show you Chicago. We're gonna meet Lana, who plays the main character here. And uh, she'll kind of help you with the character of Cell Block Tango. It came at the right time in the season. We wouldn't have been able to do this dance any earlier than, than right now. The way I have to carry myself while I'm dancing is like an unfamiliar feeling. <laughs> I would be scared of you. <laughs> and the story of Chicago is very sexy. So it's kind of like you're wiping peanut butter off of him. Yeah. <laughs> All the advice that I got today was extremely helpful, but I have a lot of work to do before Monday. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing with the Stars has changed me a lot as a person. I've been trying to prove throughout the season being 16 doesn't stop me from doing anything. Don't focus so much on the steps and focus more on the intention, okay? The past couple weeks, I've had to really sprout into a young lady, and we're really switching it up this week. We're going for extra spicy, extra sexy, and... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we've got a great team. I literally like happy dance. Let's channel your friendship. You and Jenna are like besties. <laughs> we are a team, this, well, it's, it's team family. No, 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 it's team sisters. We were like sisters since the day we met. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the song? It's Sia. Can we hear it? <gasps> I love Sia. Birds set free. This is definitely gonna be a dance that I'm gonna forever hold in my heart just because I'm not only Aww. dancing with my little sis, but I'm dancing, you know, to a song that really means a lot to me. This dance is about you, not about steps. We'll find steps that represent you. This week has been absolutely crazy. We have not rehearsed together as a team at all. Hello. Hello. Where's Gleb? He got injured. Alan is here to fill in just I'm in case. So let's teach Alan the dance. Eight and uh, one. Don't rush, guys. Let's do it again. I just wish we had more time. I've been in New York. She's been in Connecticut. We've been all over the place. Lori, I know you pick up choreography super fast and amazing, but I need, I need help. Don't stress so much. It's all going to work out. I'm going to help you when we're together. All right, here we go, guys. Six to back. Seven, seven. eight. Closer. Close. Get close. Yeah. I'm freaking out. OK. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Come oh, God. on, little sister. Okay. Give me some words of encouragement. Okay. This is our very first rehearsal as a team. These two have to be... In other rehearsals, they not to be back-to-back. -back. Okay, guys, come on, come, we gotta try this, guys. Seven, eight, one, two. Because I have you as my partner, I feel like this dance is gonna be really strong. I love you. 
<laughs> As a child, Lori was just the life of the house. <laughs> she was always a clown. She was always doing funny things. I started gymnastics because I wanted to go to the Olympics. I remember seeing Sean Johnson on the TV, and I was like, Mom, I want to be like her. Most families have to sacrifice almost everything for their child to be an elite level gymnast. Financially, there were times where things were really tight. My mom would actually work at Lori's gym to make ends meet. I worked really hard in my gymnastics career, but they worked just as hard to support me outside of the gym. It never felt like a sacrifice. It's just something that we all felt that we needed to do as a family for her, just like our parents did for us. Lori's grandmother moved from Puerto Rico. She had a dream to be successful in America. She would say, hey, whatever her dreams are, you have to follow them. Hey there. God show. <laughs> Hi. I'm extremely close with my grandma. Growing up, she would always do my hair. She was always the one to make me chocolate milk or rice when I came home. The trophy is called a mirror ball. When you come back, you show it to me. Look what I win. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. I'm very, very, very proud. Very, very proud of her. Ay, mamita. My grandma suffers from Alzheimer's, so her memory is really not that great. I kind of feel bad because I've been away from home for so long, so I haven't really been able to see her as much as I used to. And she's not really doing so well, but I think I'm going to see her soon. So. <laughs> To think that my daughter represents the U.S. after the struggles that my mom and dad went through to come here, it's just surreal. It, it's my kid. Seeing Lori live her dream is, is amazing, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Hi, Lauren. This is Grandma. I'm very, very proud of you, Mamita. Continue doing the way you want it. Fantastic. Okay, Mama? Ready to work with Max? Yeah. You sure? I think I can handle two Schmakovskis. Even though they seem really tough, secretly they're teddy bears on the inside. There he is. Hi! I picked Max because Max also taught Val how to dance. At the time, I was like a big teacher, but really, I was a 17-year-old child myself. Mm -hmm. He was my teacher slash mentor. So now it's going to be like Inception where you both coach me. You ready for this? Yeah. That's your character. It's like, whoa. This dance is Lori and I are coming in for a private lesson with the master. Max the master. <laughs> Uh, he pretty much coaches us from the very first steps into winning a championship. One, arms up. This is like being back at school again. When I see you guys dancing together. It's like seeing me and my brother. It's like dancing with family. Brother. Tika, tika, boom. My relationship with Max, I, I love him. He's, he's the... I just, but that's how much I love him. One, two, three. This performance, it's very special because 90% of my dance education came from my brother, and I try to pass that down to Lori. How much do you want to win? This much. <laughs> but with like you both arms combined, yeah. I want to win this much, which is a lot. Ready, kid? Mwah. Last week was very emotional. My grandma passed away. Cry it out. This is the place to do it, okay? Let it out. She's watching you. She loves you. Yeah? It was really difficult, but also really special to celebrate my grandma's life. I got you. 
I think she would have been really happy with the dance. That was the most amazing display of courage I've, I've seen in, in 23 seasons. I'm very proud of you for last night. If anything, I'm looking up to you for the way you handled yourself. Thanks. Yeah? It's... Would have been real hard without you, though. You let me feel the way that I was feeling at the moment. You didn't try to just take it away and have me focus on something else, so thanks. Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. All these steps you've done before, let's just do them better. Much, much better. So you could look like a professional dancer out there. There you go. For our redemption dance, the judges picked our week five fossil. But I want to see you guys as a couple. That was the week when you told me to... Yeah. <laughs> you need to calm down and don't just get mad and start yelling at me. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I was so mad at you. <laughs> Damn, good for you. After that, we really turned the page. I need you. You need me. You need me. Right? Eight and one, two, hop. We're going to improve on our connection when we're dancing. And most importantly, show that we have a much better chemistry on the dance floor. It's been like an emotional roller coaster, but I wouldn't like trade it for anything. It's been awesome. But it ain't over yet. <laughs> Yourself, okay? I, I want to close my heart. For our freestyle, we have a whole playground. The Freestyle Creative is basically celebrating your energy. No matter how old people are, you've managed to, to turn them into a kid again. There she is. This is a really big competition. Everyone is so amazing, and hopefully Val and I can top that. Find yourself, grow into that moment. Uh, Sorry. Sorry, I thought we were going. Sorry. Sorry. Um, bringing all these elements to create a memorable freestyle that is worthy of a Mirabeau trophy. It's got to be like really, really crazy. I think if we don't win, it's on me. It's on my shoulders. You know, I don't want to lose it for, for Lori. I'm very stressed. I'm very stressed. I don't want to talk to America about how stressed I am. That's a tough one. literally every day all over this country for the last three months. Yeah. <sighs> You're so stressed that you never get pimples. You got a pimple on your nose. Why are you going to bring it up? I'm kidding. <laughs> and I'm stressing because I want it to be perfect for you. I want it to be special. Coming onto the show, I've really grown as a person, and I just want to make sure that I can give it my all, and I don't want to let anyone down, including myself. So, uh, yeah. I got you. And whatever you can't, I'll take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Let's go get this little ball. Oh, my God. I'm going to miss you. Really? Come on. <laughs> it's been fun. Yeah. Oh, this is sad. This is not sad. This it's is kind exciting. of sad. I'm going to miss Val so much. This experience has been amazing. I've been able to really grow up and mature the past three months. I'm like, speechless, I don't want to be over. I don't like goodbyes. I'll see you later. Okay. I'm gonna miss her for sure. I'm gonna miss being like the big brother, but it's time for her to fly. <laughs> <laughs>